got viewers that want to hear this. I don't know why you can't see me, but I had to reinstall uh, Minicam Quit, and I had to reinstall lot the new Logitech Cam. Then it worked for a few minutes while ago. Now it won't work. It's something to do with Adobe Flash Player, okay? So absolutely, we're going to go ahead and do the show like it is in the black, okay? Okay. Yeah, I apologize. I don't know why it ain't working. The green lights on on the camera and everything else. So we're just going to have to do it like this, and somebody will have to put a picture up there named Cindy uh, of me or, or maybe Obama. I don't know. Anyway, good to be with y'all. Good to do another show today. And uh, I want to talk to you today for just a few minutes about communications and about the TSA and other things like that, okay? There's a video blogger named 1776 Upfries uh, that did an article over there in InfoWars, and I looked at it earlier. And uh, before I get into it, I wish to talk to you and let you know again, and probably you probably already know this, but to let you know that beyond a shadow of a doubt, uh, the TSA is not going to quit what they're doing, okay? I'm not sitting here today to be negative, but the TSA will not stop what they're doing. TSA will continue down the path of destruction. Now, also, your mobile phone carriers are going to continue to do what they're doing. And uh, I, read, I read an article, not, I forget where I read it from, but millions and millions of cell phone activities was handed over to the FBI by Verizon and AT&T and everybody else last year. And they're going to continue to do it. So you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a choice in, in these areas I'm talking about. Not only the TSA, not only in the mobile communication devices, but you know good and well as I do that they are looking at every keystroke on your computer right now. They're, they're, they're looking at what we're doing, they're listening, not that I'm important, but I'm just simply saying this is just how stinking nosy and how stupid and how demonic they are. They want to know everything about you. Eventually they are going to find out exactly when some of us, not me, not you I hope, but when some of us wipe our Obama, okay? Yeah, when we come off the toilet and wipe our Obama, they're going to know exactly when it's done. Now, what we must know and understand that we've got decisions to make from the lowest levels of our life to the highest priorities of our life. We've got decisions we've got to make. They're going to be hard decisions, but they have to, nevertheless, they have to be decisions based on, on your belief system. They have to be decisions based on what it is that you live by. And if, uh, if you don't believe me, just wait and remember uh, this uh, news show today that there will be a day when you're going to have to make some hard decisions. But let's go back to the TSA for a minute and begin to break down this article, okay? The TSA is continuing its expansion from airports to train stations and other modes of transportation. Uh, now, we understand that uh, that you're going to see them in train stations, you're going to see them in every airport, which you already do in most of them. You're going to also see security checkpoints on the highways. You're going to see, you're going to eventually, now mark my words, you're going to eventually see the Gestapo of that nature in every mall that you go to, every major mall, they're going to be there. You're going to see armed, listen to me, you're going to see armed Gestapo when you go to get your driver's license. You're going to see armed Gestapo if you go to the doctor when this health care law begins to be enacted. You're going to see armed Gestapo and they're going to protect their own. They're going to rape and they're going to pillage and they're going to prod and they're going to poke at you and they're going to bring about what Nazi Germany wished they could have brought about. Okay? What they're going to do is they're going to degrade you to the point that you don't even think you're a human being anymore. They're going to bring you to the point that you're nothing but a robot in a society controlled by evil, demonic, Luciferian elite. And remind yourself of this when the days come, and, and I'm sure that most every one of us will get our opportunity to be confronted with some of these thugs, these Gestapo thugs, I'm sure that they're going to get their opportunity 
and you're going to get your opportunity to meet face to face with some of these thugs. What you have to do, or you don't have to, this is just a uh, counseling suggestion and humility. What you have to do is you have to, I'm going to, I'm going to give you some advice here, okay? Me being, used to be in the military, um, used to build houses, still would love to, but there's nothing to build because they weren't the economy. Uh, but I used to have to lay out a blueprint, or when the architect would, uh, he would draw out the blueprint, make the changes as we went along, and I would study that blueprint and I would look at it before I ever started to know that, that, that I could successfully build the structure from the foundation to the final product. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to realize that you need to study and become an architect and an engineer and a builder in your daily life. you got to hear me now. Please pay attention to this. And as you look at the blueprint, and it's all over the net, the blueprint is, of what's coming and being built around you, you got to make a decision that if you are confronted by TSA. You've got to make a decision. Do you allow them to put their hands upon you or your children? Now see, for some folks, for some folks, uh, the sheeple that is, they believe it's great security to keep them away from Osama bin Laden's ghost. Uh, or anybody that uh, shouts Allah Akbar, okay? They believe that that's what it's for because uh, you know, the millions and millions of viewers that watch Fox News, CNN, ABC, MSN, the, the 200 that watch Anderson Cooper, the 200 people that watch him on a weekly basis, they have been trained, they have been trained to believe that the media knows what's best because they have been trained to believe that there's a boogeyman called Al Qaeda that is going to come and blow up your train station. They're going to blow up your airplanes in the middle of the air while you're on them, see? Now, that being said, back to the blueprint, back to the engineering, back to the construction of your life as the buildings are being built all around you. What you have to do is you have to look at the buildings being built around you and you have to ask yourself a question. Do I want to live by this apartment building? And I, I'm, you got to understand I'm doing a parable here. Or do I want to be down here in the hood where all the shooting's going on, or had I rather be out there and get some fresh air in amongst uh, freedom, okay? Now, when they begin to go to grope and touch children, and then the parents stand there and allow it by the TSA Gestapo child pedophile child molesting thugs that are being hired daily, that lets me know that that parent, now listen to me, I'm going to probably catch hell for this and I don't, I don't really care if you don't know the truth about it. It doesn't matter to me because I'm going to speak the truth. It lets me know first and foremost that the parents could care less about the children by letting them be engroped and everything else and felt up. It lets me also know that I don't want that person near me uh, when times get tough, okay? And when I say that person, you got to think about how many millions of people allow that just so that they, you ready for this? just so that they can get from one place to another in a hurry because they have a busy life, you see. And as they watch the TSA group their children, and, they, and, and after they get through with the children, then, then they get in line and get groped and felt up, their genitals and their breasts and everything else. Then they move on, and after they get on the plane, as if nothing happened. Well, the same thing happened in Nazi Germany. And as they have their cell phones through Verizon and other carriers and and they get a, a presidential alert in the not so distant future from the uh, from the Barry Sororto, the tent maker Kenyon, uh, they'll say, oh, this is great. We, now we have global communication. Now we have national communication. Now we can all be one big family and we can know where to go and what to do. We can know where we need to go and park our vehicles, walk into the building because we've been contaminated, and get stripped naked and get us a clean shower, go out the back door, right to a FEMA camp, or be killed. You see? You understand? This is the operation that is underway. And I've named it something myself, okay? And you can carry this name with you. This name is not copyrighted. Feel free to use it. 
all you want to, okay? But I have named what they're doing this year. I have named it Operation, listen to me, Operation Death Watch, okay? Operation D-E-A-T-H Watch. Operation, Operation Death Watch is what I have named what they are doing. It's just a name that I, that I came up with because in everything that they're doing, the end result of it is to bring about your demise and your death and your destruction, and that's why I call it Operation Death Watch. I'll be doing some videos or some audios. If I can't get this stupid camera to work, I'll be doing some audios on this, and Miss C.S. Rivers, uh, with all her hard, tireless efforts, will be getting it out, and you'll, be, uh, you'll have some, uh, some enlightening uh, understanding about why I have named it what I have named it. But anyway, in Operation Death Watch, not only do we see TSA, not only do we see the cell phone communications being hacked, but we also see the Internet that is going on and the behind the scenes, uh, not only effort, but success to hinder. Now listen to me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not tooting my horn about this, but, but it is very well documented. Cindy will not lie. I will not lie because Revelation 21.8 says all liars go to hell. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt what they have done, and, and millions of, of YouTube people, not only me, but I'm using me for an example, they have held back my numbers, they have kept it, even when I go there I see error all the time, so obviously we're, we're pissing somebody off, and I'm glad of it, <coughs> and they want to bring it about where we will not have any effect on the general population. And see, one of the major reasons that they are uh, upset with me is because I always base what I'm doing and what I'm saying from biblical prophecy. And a lot of people disagree with the biblical prophecy that I talk about. And I, and I challenge you, don't go away just because you disagree with it. But, but listen to what I have to say. Watch what comes down the pipeline and you'll understand that I was correct. Okay? See, that is the road map that I use. Okay? And I, and I must use it because, because it is the, well, it's the oldest book that's ever been written and the author of it is still alive so therefore I'm going to stick with the oldest author, okay? Now, that being said, let's move back let's move back not only to the uh, the TSA, the communications but also, I was talking with Cindy this morning and the very reason, if you go back and think about it the very reason that the people did the cash for clunkers or your Gestapo did the cash for clunkers was to see just how many that they could get out of circulation because you remember you remember that those cars had to be taken out of circulation to get the three, four, five thousand dollar check. I don't know how they got the money for it, but anyway, to give out to the people and, and get them a new vehicle. Well, the very reason they did it, as being a logical thinker, and I've, uh, uh, many, many of you know this already. I'm just rehashing it to the choir. Uh, they did it to take it out of circulation, so that therefore, if an EMP or they want to do a little, uh, you know, a little Jerry rigging in the sky, or a little Obama rigging in the sky and it'll take out the computers on millions of vehicles, you see. But those old ones, those clunkers, they didn't have the computers, they did not have the electronic fuel injection. They had what's known as a carburetor, they had what's known as a distributor or points, and those would still be running. See, they're not stupid in what they're doing. They're, they're very wise, their wisdom comes straight from the pits of hell and from fallen angels, so they, they do have some power, they do have some abilities to, to bring about the slavehood, the destruction, and Operation Death upon millions of people. Okay, You and I are on Operation Death Watch, and back to the decisions you have to make. Back to the decisions you have to make is going to be, will you cut that cell phone off and move to other forms of communication known as a track phone that you buy off the shelf. Okay. Now, I myself am yet to see, but I do not believe that they can, and I'm, correct me if I'm wrong on this, this is speculation and I guess a, a ray of hope that I have, I do not believe that they can send out the messages on a track phone like they can on a conventional cell phone that's went through a conventional carrier. Okay because you can go, well, they might be able to send it out, but then again, they might not know who's talking on it, okay? That is one of the good things about, one of the good things about having a track phone versus a conventional cell phone. 